U.S. filmmaker Matthew Hyman shines a spotlight on the Mexican drug war. Cartel Land follows Dr. Jose Morales and Tim Naylor Foley. Morales leads a citizen group against the violent Knights Tempura drug cartel, which has wreaked havoc on the region for years. Naylor, based in Arizona's Alter Valley, heads a small paramilitary group whose goal is to stop Mexico's drug wars from seeping across the border. At a news conference in Mexico City, Hyman revealed he embedded himself with both groups over the course of a year. The, the film and the story went in, in, in a direction that I could never have predicted. Um, but part of the story, too, is about what provokes men and women to do that, what provokes men and women to rise up in arms. And, you know, I think, I think it's a very complicated story, and each person has their own motivations. After talking about the dangers of filming, the director says he hopes the work will increase consciousness among both groups and start a productive dialogue. The people in America, I hope that, this, that they see this film and realize that there's a war that's happening in the country just south of us, a country that we share so much history with, um, and that we're, we're connected to that war. And I want, I want to show people that. And I think here in Mexico, I really hope that people, um, that this film shows people a world that they sort of, sort of know about, but shows it firsthand. At the 2015 Sundance Film Festival, Hyman received both the Directing Award and Cecil Jury Award for Cinematography in the U.S. Documentary Competition. Cartel Land hit U.S. theaters on July and shot down on the Glastonbury Festival on Saturday, where many revelers were gearing up to watch hip-hop star Kanye West headline on the Pyramid stage. The American rapper is due to perform on Saturday evening, and a number of passionate fans were gathered around the site, some wearing T-shirts bearing his face, others holding flags referring to his album, Jesus. I am really excited.